Across much of this country tonight, a massive winter storm and already the ripple effect for travel being felt coast to coast. The monster storm system stretching from Indiana to Maine all the way down to North Carolina. More than a dozen states under winter watches and warnings this evening, and this is moving fast. Nearly a foot of snow in some states already, more than a foot of snow in forecast for Syracuse, New York. And in the heartland tonight, the threat of more twisters. Close to three dozen reported tornadoes on Christmas. This evening, they're bracing for more bad weather. Our extreme weather team is across the storm zone tonight. You can see Sam Champion there. He has the latest track in just a moment. But we're going to begin with ABC's Alex Perez in Indianapolis. Strong winds whipped around fast falling snow in Indianapolis and made getting around by foot or car nearly impossible. David Mathis struggled just to keep up with the shoveling. You saw no snow and then within a couple hours, what did you see? Yeah, this basically wide out conditions. You know, you look out the window, you couldn't hardly even see outside. The massive storm leading to blizzard warnings in at least eight states. 30 mile per hour wind gusts in parts of Indiana and Ohio, slippery roads and poor visibility across the heartland blame for the deaths of at least six people. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, icy roads forced some frustrated drivers to follow a plow truck just to have a clear path. In Little Rock, freezing temperatures snapped power lines, leaving many in the dark. My friend is out of electricity and out of heat, so I come to get a propane exchange, but then the lights went out before I could get checked out. Back in Indianapolis, spin out after spin out, stranded motorists could not compete with the storm. You guys have been trying to get out. Yes, we tried to get out of the parking spot. We're spinning in circles. <laughs> And the wrath of this storm is not over just yet. The snow has ended here, but the next big wave of bad weather is already slamming the Northeast. David. All right, Alex, thanks very much. And as you mentioned, it is moving quickly. I want to bring in ABC senior weather editor Sam Champion right outside our studios tonight. Sam, great to see you. And you were telling us in the newsroom this afternoon, this is all one massive system. One big system we've been talking about since the weekend, David. All that snow in the middle of the country up to 17 inches in Illinois. The tornadoes, 25 confirmed from last night's episode. And then this, this we started coastal areas with a little bit of uh, snow. Then we went to some sleet. Now we've got some rain with ice mixed in. If you're in coastal areas, your road surfaces will stay fairly wet. But inland, you're going to get that mixture of ice and then inches of inches of snow. Take a look at the snow graphic as we work this storm system. It was that one big storm that now will hand itself off to kind of a nor'easter shape. Then it will move in. Look at that icing that's involved. That's one of the scary parts of the system. There will be plenty of areas that will get some icing and snow. The snowfall totals will be measured in inches and very near a foot. And it's a very big deal because, David, places like Syracuse, and I know you just left yesterday, haven't had a foot of snow in one event in probably two years. They're going to get more than a foot of snow out of this event, and there's an awful lot of places in New England that will. Yeah, I got out just in time, but the family is still there. And, Sam, you were saying much of this country also facing a lot of rain tonight. The thing about this storm is the coastal sections will get some heavy rain. Already some flood watches and warnings are up as well in the places that don't have winter storm watches and warnings. And we're expecting up to two inches of rain in a lot of places. This is heavy Atlantic moisture. So this storm will also have some very strong winds. So expect this rain to be wind driven rain and also the snow to be wind driven snow. This is a big, powerful system still through the day tomorrow. David.